Shriek has a plate for the home team. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. What can you say? The hottest team in hockey looks to take to the ice and keep it going tonight. Two teams looking starved for a win. And we are set to go. The Wild have won the opening faceoff and take possession here at the start. And that's a smart heads-up play by Savard. Great pass from the left wing. Rocked him in the open ice. The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. The Canadians gain possession. And they'll dump it in. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. Here's a shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's failing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Minnesota's won the faceoff. Here's a blast! And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Shuts it down, what a stop! And it's kicked away. And some fancy footwork to kick it over to his teammate. With possession along the wall. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Here they come on the rush. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes the feed, moving in. Shot! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. And he loses control of the puck. Burns plays it now. Takes up, come on! Quick feed to Kane. He grabs the puck here at the point. And that's deflected off someone in front. And he shut the door on that last play. Snapper from the side. Big save in front. Well, goaltenders love the butterfly as he drops and slides across the crease. He makes the save. Moves the puck from off the bank pass. The Canadians looking against the half wall. Picked off by Johns. Across the line. Takes a shot. Stops that one. From the left side, they gain the zone. Into the corner now. Oh, they telegraph the pass, and he picks it off. Right side. He's got a step. Oh, denies him on the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Takes a shot. Turned aside with a glove by Watt. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. And Rob's good at driving to the crease while protecting the puck with his body. It's his big rig zone ability. Waugh's well respected and a great competitor between the pipes. Be on the lookout for one of these players to make an impact for their team tonight. Now, let's send it back upstairs. Takes the puck. A chance! Oh, tremendous reflexes with the pad. What a stop for Waugh! Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Puck dumped in. The Canadians have it from their own end. Quick pass to Slavkovsky. Minnesota's gained possession along the boards. Return pass. Oh, that's tremendous poise in the defensive end to break off the pass. Scooped up along the wall by Koivu. Feeds it on over to Heatley. Big time hit on the play. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck now. Feeds the puck to Koivu. Drills him. Takes the pass. The Wild have possession along the boards. Past the halfway mark of this period, the game is still scoreless. Minnesota's won the defensive zone draw. Here they come. Moves it to champion. Moves it up. 
Minnesota's got it in the neutral zone. And now it's over to Champion. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Sends it into the offensive zone. Moves it quickly over to Champion. Looks to pass it to Michael. To the front! Denies him in close. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Takes the feed. Oh, no! Oh, absolutely clutch at the stop. Oh, you gotta love this stuff, James. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle, and this goaltender, he knows exactly where he's at, and he wins it. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Minnesota's got the win off that draw. With some open space on center. Fires it on net. Easily turned away with the glove. And a little body. Yeah, you can see this one coming, Cheryl. Yeah, and you hate to see this, James. A player down, never the look you want, but you also know that it has to be responded for. There has to be action when a guy's on the ice. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. The Canadians have created a buzz in the building as everyone's standing on their feet, cheering their guy on in this fight. Both teams lined up in the face-off circle after the ice was finally decluttered moments ago. Koibu's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Scores! Rips it off the pipe and into the net. Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. Just an incredible finish on a power drive here, James, as he lowers the boom, puts out his leg, and doesn't allow his opponent back in. That's what you call fighting for your space and keeping it. The Wild had the game's first goal and what momentum at one end of the ice and how deflating here late in the first at the other end. Yeah, they always say you never want to be scored against late in a period, but when you're the one that scores, you know the energy that it builds for your team. Along the half wall with the puck. Montreal's got the puck. Slides the puck across to Perron. Gives him a jolt with that hit. Broken up with the stick in the defensive end. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. Scores! Well, he's on the board. Well, it's always a good feeling when you get your first under your belt, James, but it's always about setting the tone at the beginning of the season, setting yourself up for success. What is going on? Two goals in a minute, 10, James. Anybody who just got up for a quick snack is probably looking at the scoreboard going, what happened? Well, don't blink. The game can change in an instant. Absolutely. Minnesota's extended their lead to two here in the late stage of this opening frame. What a period. Yeah, an incredible period. They've had momentum, and they've really held possession in the play. They've worked hard on the puck and to be supportive off the puck, and it's the reason why they generated opportunities, James. They just need to come out with that same fire in the second. Ross got the puck, and he's going to hang on. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Minnesota's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Collins won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Wrist one, and he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly, and is able to negate the shot. Answered the call there. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Oh, and he lays a thunderous hit there. Minnesota's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Battle along the wall. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Cullen. Inside the defensive zone, moving the puck. A little crashing and banging forces the turnover. Slides it quickly to Michael. 
moves the puck into the attacking area. The Canadians have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Oh, what a violent collision oh, there. He just got railroaded in close space so fast and just taken down. There you go, period number one is done. We're gonna come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. Barron's earlier injury is gonna keep him out of the game, James. He just received confirmation from the staff and this isn't good. Not good at all. Huge blow for the team, and, and somebody who's just so well liked too, right? Those intangibles that he brings on the bench as well at times like this. Yeah. Don't like seeing that at all. The Canadians have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Seen so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. Nice zone entry from the right side. Great puck check on the reach. The Canadians move the puck in the defensive zone. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Oh, I know what he was trying to do there, James. He thought he had it with that move, but he created some space for himself, but unfortunately loses the handle and it dies on his stick. There's a collision. This is a great save. You can see this one-on-one -on -one battle, and the goaltender is so dialed in, tracking, and makes that save. Minnesota's offense has come to play in a big way as they dominated both the shots and goal category. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Quick feed down low. Brings the ball off the post. Montreal coaching staff having a tough time rallying their troops here. A real frustrating night. Nothing going their way. Not getting any bounces is indicated right there. A nice miss as it goes off the post. Centering pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. 
Minnesota's fans are loving every minute of this one as they lead 4-0. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Scrum along the boards. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And he can't hang on after that hit. And he lowers the boom there. Here's a short pass to Stahl. Minnesota's got it across the line. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Price. Minnesota's offense came to play in a big way, and they lead big time here in the second. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Oh, great play to use the wall handling the pass. And the puck skips away after that move. Newhook's known for his creativity, and he tries one too many moves there, and he loses the puck. Moves the puck inside the offensive zone. Forces the turnover in the defensive zone. Lindstrom's moving the puck through his own zone. Takes the feed. Sorry for jumping in, James, but that was a massive hit. And now he moves it quickly. He's got a step. Stopped on the breakaway. What a save he made there. Well, I love how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back in his net. He came right out to the top of the paint and said, if you're going to beat me, you got to find room. Minnesota's been just savage in the offensive zone, and they lead it here in this second period. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. Centering feed! Moves it again! Can't connect on the play! The Canadians are going to need to regroup if they want to get back in this game. Games are halfway through it. There's still plenty of time left. They have to do much better than they started in the first half. Oh, a clutch save! Dudnik's made a great quality shot look easy. I mean, he is so efficient. He's dialed in, he tracks, and he makes the save. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Here they come on the attack. Fantastic save! Uses the force on that hit. Montreal's got the puck along the boards. Oh, big time hit along the wall, and this is why I'm glad I'm up here in a suit, Cheryl. <laughs> It's a bone crusher. Some good stick work to force that turnover. Quick feed to Doc. Here's the pass. He scores! What a play! Now, James, he's the benefactor of a great passing play. I mean, incredible vision to be able to land that puck right on his stick. But then he's got to do something with it, right? He's got to read where the goaltender is, and he's got to hit the back of the net. The Canadians finally get some momentum going their way. Now, can they sustain it, though? It's going to be tough, James, unless they can string some shifts back to back together where they do create momentum and have possession in this game. You have to look for ways to be first to the puck, be relentless on it. That's what changes energy. Go hit to pump him off the puck. Slip feed. Montreal's regained possession of the puck. Oh, he gets hit again. Well, this is a tough enough game as it is, but if you have your head down, you are going to get land-based over and over again. Quick pass to Palmonville. Stopped by the goaltender. Pass across to Suzuki. Tried to make a move, and the puck hops away. And all alone. one-on-one, -on -one, you gotta beat the shooter, and that's exactly what he does. Slides the pass oh. over to Burns. Handles the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Pominville. What a save by Price! Slides it over with pace to Anderson. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. It almost looked as if he was going to get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away, and it goes the other way. Great hand dive by the goaltender, poking it away. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Oh, some strong physicality on the play. 
Anderson's going to play it to the corner. Slides it on over to Granlin. Moves the puck. Crosser's got it in the offensive zone. Here's a shot. Oh, what a close save. Wow. Price has given his team some life here with the number of saves that he's made, but they're going to have to find a way to be much better, claw their way back into this game. They've got a multiple goal deficit, and if they want to get back in it, it starts in their own zone. Minnesota's got to be happy with where their game is at so far tonight as they continue to lead big here late in the second. Moves it to Vanek. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Here in the late goings of the period, Minnesota's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Moves it quickly over to Kane. have gained control of the puck along the wall. Montreal's gained possession. And the puck's kicked free. Passes it to Kane. Approaching the final 60 seconds here in the second. And there's the save. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Slavkovsky's been lighting the lamp at this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. The Canadians win the draw here in their own end. Here's a short pass to Lindstrom. They put the puck into the offensive end. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Minnesota's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. It's been a total mismatch here as we get underway for the third. Let's see if anything changes. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? Minnesota's been driving play all game. They sit with a comfortable lead with 20 minutes to go here and they need to make sure they manage the puck and make smart decisions and then they can call this one a win. A great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Oh, what a hit! Power forwards are often heavy on their skates. They're strong, they're physical, and they know how to retrieve pucks. And man, can they deliver bone-crushing hits. Takes the puck at the point. Fires it! He scores! Off the pipe and bulging the twine! Well, it's a game of inches, isn't it? And this time, those inches, they work in his favor. They go right into the net. It always amazes me, James, to see how quickly these shooters can get the puck off of their stick. I mean, they can shoot off their inside leg, their outside leg. It doesn't matter, but what does matter? The positioning from that slot area. You know that if you get all of it, you're going to tag one home. The Wild have continued this onslaught here in period number three. They've steamrolled their opponent from start to finish, and they've been consistent right through this third period, James. If they can continue this push, they're going to ride this one home. Matheson's got it along the boards. Oh, what a save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Montreal's got it against the boards. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. And they'll go the other way with it. Great play by Kane. Makes the save. Sends the pass down low. Quick feed to Suzuki. <laughs> Rocked him in the open ice. Oh, and a board rattling hit right there. Well, certainly was lined up perfectly, body on body, weight distributed right in there. Quick pass to Kane. Pushes it across to Koibu. Change up, change up. Shot, and the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. Do 
Dubnik's able to make that save look easy, James. It's because he gets to the top of his crease, he cuts down his angles, and then he can redirect it to safety. Minnesota's laying up, pounding on the opposition tonight, generating numerous scoring chances and converting on what feels like almost all of them. Here he is in close! Stopped by the goaltender. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's why you see from a young age them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. Montreal's got possession of the puck. The Wild have possession now. Grabbed along the board by Gallagher. Jabs the puck away. And a stick breaks that up. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Back to the point of goals. Recognize that they're not going to play one time here, so at least try to make it respectable. Respectable, and they can finish with physicality, and that's something that the staff will be telling them. Also look for everyone to be jumping into the attack, trying to get some pressure on their opponent and get some much-needed goals. Quick feed to Michael. Here's a chance, and he had an answer with that save. More than half the period left to play. The Canadians have a long way to go to try to get back into this one, down by three. Minnesota's won the draw. And Ross scores! And there's the hat trick, and this place is silent. Well, he's licking his chops when he goes on the road, hey, James, and he gets his hat. I mean, he's been feeling it, but when he's on the road, he's something else. surprise the goaltender it also surprised me from this long range distance James guess the old adage just put it to the net and good things can happen you know I'm amazed at you just look at the body language the reaction from the players and teammates they all know right everybody's kind of aware of everybody's stats aren't they Cheryl oh uh, yeah I mean you know how difficult it is to get one goal James let alone three when you're a rookie and everyone really feeling it the puck's just finding him it's all around him tonight And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. 
The Devils are the final opponent here at home, and there's still some tickets available. Check out online before they are gone, because you know it's a hot ticket these days here in this bar. Minnesota's taking possession in their own end. Beans the puck over to Pominville. Minnesota's going on the attack as they gain the zone. Keeps a hold of the puck. Streaking into the attacking zone for the right. Scores! Go shorty! It's a shorthanded one at that. And this could be a turning point in the game, James. I mean, when you're on the PK and you look to attack like they did, that's unbelievable to recognize the opportunity to jump. And man, did they jump. And they end up capitalizing off of it. Montreal's fan base watching, streaming, taking this one in wherever, probably wondering, where was this earlier? Yeah, it's frustrating for an athlete when you know what you can play like, you know your team can play like, they just don't perform. But late in the game here, they need goals, they need a pile of them. If they even want to have an opportunity to get their tender out of the net. Rocks them on the play. Moves it to Graylin. Long lead pass into the neutral zone. John's like been feeling it tonight, James. I mean, he's showing his creativity and his vision. He's got three points in the game and has really led offensively for his team. Moves it quickly over to Graylin. Oh, and he comes up with a big stop there. Ready to take the draw here on this power play. Minnesota's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And that goes off a stick somewhere in traffic. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Well, the game certainly isn't predictable, is it, James? As it's going back and forth, goals from all areas as players shoot from all angles and attack the zone. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and sending a clear message to his team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight. Evans is ready for the face-off as they'll continue to kill off this penalty. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. showing that chemistry, a lot of zip, and they've been productive, a reason why they're on top. Puts it on there, shuts it down with the paddle, what a freeze stop. It, it. Price makes the save and hangs on for a stoppage of play. Minnesota's put in a total team effort here this evening, and they lead it comfortably in the third. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Price has it and freezes the play. Minnesota's attempt to put more pucks on net has paid off as they lead it in the third. Michaels 
won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. While we have a moment, let's send it down ringside with our own Carlin Baines. And Rob's been able to use his zone ability to his advantage and get it on the scoring, guys. I've been impressed by his performance tonight. And he slides it quickly to Lindstrom. Sends a pass over. Takes the puck into the corner of the offensive end. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Makes a move and the puck pops away from him. Michael's so difficult to stop him. All alone! Oh, that just looked like indecisive. Oh, and maybe an attempt to try to make it respectable, or is this a comeback here, Cheryl? Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you've got to build out that last shift. Well, that's a great goal, and not just because of the tally, but because of the energy it's provided his team. I mean, you can certainly see that this group has a ton of respect for him and looks at him as an emotional leader. The Canadians don't really have time on their side here, but at least they've got something to push with. Yeah, really tough hole to climb out of, but certainly that one goal will give him a little bit of a lift. It's respectable. Pumps the puck away. Here's a short pass to Harris. And now he passes up to Cook. The Wild have control of the puck. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Works it across to Stahl. And that's broken up with a stick in front. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Quick feed to Stahl. Turned aside with the club by Price. Minnesota's up big time here in the late stages of this third period. Koibu's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And a solid save on the play there. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older. And this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weave, trying to find that puck. He does and makes the save. Oh, a devastating check there. Frustration bubbling over late in the game when you're down by a bunch. You know you're not getting back in it. You deliver that hit. Yeah, it's one thing. You know it's over. You're completely frustrated, and you chose. Oh, had a chance to make a nice move, and the puck disagreed with him. Slavkovsky's such a great player, James. He's got great hands and in-tight skill, but just that extra move there, it's a tricky one, and he gets lost in it. Goalie with a stop. Minnesota's offense is a story tonight as they lead it here in this third period. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Tries to feed it over to Champion. Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? And this is a dialed in goaltender. Very aware, knows where the shooter is in that low slot and makes the save. Pop ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Burns takes the puck, and he loses control here. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Quick pass to Johns. Big stop. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. And there it is, the final horn. And Ross Hattrick leads the way en route to victory tonight. Yeah, he got himself in good position, didn't he? He's a pure goal scorer, and he didn't disappoint tonight. Well, that brings a fun night of hockey to the end for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. She's Cheryl Pounder. We will see you next time at the rink.